you will need a pair of garden shears or sharp scissors. I also keep a small pair of needle nose pliers at hand in case I need to use some gentle persuasion. The two materials that we are going to use are round reed and binding cane. Both of these materials come from the same jungle vine called rattan. The round reed shown here is the inner pith of the vine and is machined into various shape sizes. The number four round reed is what I use to make the inner frame of the handle. Binding cane is the outside bark of rattan. It's sometimes referred to as slab rattan or river cane. Notice how one side is rounded and shiny and the other side is flat. As potters, you don't need to be told how important it is to use good materials and to properly prepare them before attempting to make something. The reed and binding cane must be soaked in water until they become pliable enough to work with. An overnight soak is preferred, but if you're pressed for time, soak for at least eight hours. Notice how pliable the reed and cane have become after a night's soak. I keep the material in a bucket of water beside me while I am working. And remember to soak only as much as you think you'll need at one particular time. The cane top knot is a value added embellishment. Remember when making a lid for this treatment, leave enough space in the lid handle for the required number of reed sprigs to pass through. I used three short pieces of dyed reed for this particular lid. Push the reed through the handle and again take a length of binding cane, shiny side facing out, and wrap snugly around the one side. There's no one way to do this. You have artistic license to experiment. I usually wrap three or four times. Secure that shorter end of the cane by placing it underneath the last wrap. Now you can choose to either place the cane through the handle to the other side or over the handle as shown here. Wrap the other side snugly and finish again with the three T's. Tuck, tighten, and trim. Tuck through, pull to tighten, and trim to your liking. I prefer the uneven sided spray on these small lidded pots. There, now stand back and enjoy your creation.